All right, welcome into the show. Creative Crypto here. And we're back on Pulse Chain. I'm still a big fan of Pulse Chain. I've just been waiting for the right project to come along to actually get behind and support. I've been in Pulse 3D and that's been going good. But I really decided a few weeks ago to take a chance with Pulse Drip. Now, Pulse Drip is very similar to the original Drip that was on the Binance Smart Chain. And that went extremely well. It ran for over two years. It has since burned out. But Pulse Drip believes that they have improved the protocol and tokenomics behind Drip and have launched this on Pulse Chain. So what this is, is it has their Drip token, which has a 10% tax on buys and sells when you use the swap. That goes to supporting the drip price and also to be able to pay out rewards in the faucet. The main components to pulse drip is the faucet and the garden. Okay, so we'll get into both of them. The main tokenomics that you just have to realize how this works is if you get into the faucet, it's going to pay you 1% every single day of the amount of drip you have in the faucet. No matter what the price of drip is, you're always going to earn that 360% of whatever you put in the faucet. So we'll go over to the faucet, check it out. Also improvement on this is they're limiting the amount of faucets to 5,000. Okay, so once 5,000 is up, you cannot get into the faucet. We'll see how that works. We'll see when it gets time to max out the faucets, if that helps the price or if it hurts the price time will tell but the big strategy with this guys is you're getting paid that one percent a day not in us dollar value in drip value so you can see this is how much i have locked in the faucets this claimed is been compounded back in okay and you're making the one percent a day that's the max payout there if i just let this thing run now each time you compound the max payout goes up so the real strategy with this and what people are trying to figure out is what's better to just withdraw every day and earn 1% a day for a year or compound and make compound interest on your drip and potentially make a lot more. So we'll get into the numbers. I have a spreadsheet calculator that we can dive into and look at this. And let's actually look at that now and we'll run some numbers. Okay, so right now I have... 13.156 in the faucet. So let's dive into the spreadsheet and take a look. All right, guys. So over here at my PDRIP reinvesting compounding calculator. All right. So this section here is your PDRIP in the faucet. This is your days, the date, daily interest, earnings, reinvest, and fees. So if you compound back into the faucet, you actually don't pay that 10% fee, which is pretty awesome. Okay, if you withdraw from the faucet, you're going to pay 10% on the withdrawal. And then when you sell the drip, that's another 10%. So basically, whatever you're earning in the faucet, you have to minus 20%. And that's what your take-home pay will be. Still pretty good. Okay, it helps support the system. So let's put in our amount here. This calculator is customizable. 3.156. Okay, so now you can see it populates. So this isn't US dollar value. This is actually drip value over here. Okay, so earning about 0.13 drip per day. With the faucet, you're earning 1% a day for a year, okay? So if you get into the faucet, no matter what, you're going to make that amount of drip. Now, you're going to get paid out that amount of time as well. So you really have to think and analyze this and determine, well, if I'm going to get paid out for a year no matter what, why don't I just compound this and make a lot more, okay? Because... You saw from the faucet I showed you that if I were to just withdraw every day, I'll make like 40 drip out of the faucet. So that's about 400 bucks. Or instead of that, I can choose to compound. Okay, so what if I decided to compound this every single day for one year? You can see how the amount continues to grow, guys. Compound interest is an amazing, amazing thing. So we go here one year. We're looking at about... 487 drip that will be compounded into the faucet that's about a 40x from where i started at so you can either withdraw every single day from your faucet and make a 3.5x minus the 20 percent fees or 
you can compound and make a 40x on your initial drip. And you're probably wondering, well, wouldn't it just be better to just buy and hold the drip? No, not that's not the best way as well. Because drip would have to go up over $500 per P drip in order to be more than just the compounding in here. And I do think drip can pump, but I don't think it's going to hit over $500. And even if it does, if it, even if it gets to $500 in a year, think about how much you're going to be making off of your faucet. So just at current rates, if the drip's price stays what it is today, 487 drip is around seven grand. So I'll be making about 4.8 drip a day, which is around $70 a day, just from compounding that entire first year which makes sense because you're going to get paid out 365 days anyway. Why not just compound it and see what happens? That's what I decided to do. Now, at this point, you can decide to just use this as your income and continue to withdraw, or you can let it ride for a second year, guys. Now, this is where it gets pretty crazy. Now, if you get to the second year, you're looking at around 18,500 drip in the faucet. The total amount you can get into one faucet to max out is about 25,000 drip, I believe. So if you start with basically the minimum amount in here and you compound for two years, you could get close to that max payout. Now, depending on what the price of drip is, your risk is minimalized because if you get the 18,595 drip, even if drip went to a penny, guys, at one penny, it would be $185 in here. And that's about what you started with in the faucet. So yes, would that be a disappointment? Yes, but technically you still would have the same amount. That's worst case scenario. I mean, the original drip isn't even a penny right now. It's like two or three pennies, but this is two years. Let's go back to the one year mark. Okay, the one year mark. Let's say drip, worst case scenario, it goes to a dollar. Well, this is still a two to three X from what you put in. And now you can earn off of this for another 365 days. So the potential with this is pretty huge, guys. It is pretty huge. Now, let's say you wanted to put a lot in here and you wanted to take some risk and you decide to go all in and you actually risk more than you can afford to lose. I don't recommend doing that. I have done that in the past and it's worked out, but that doesn't mean it's going to work out all the time. So let's say you put 10 grand in here, guys. So 10 grand is about 570 drip, give or take. Okay, you put 570 drip in here. Now, you put more than you can afford to lose. If this goes under, you're going to be out that money and you're going to be in a bad, bad place. So what you can do is you can withdraw daily until you recoup your initial investment for 120 days. So in 120 days, you'll make 120% minus the 20% claim and sell fees. So... After 120 day mark, then you get your initial investment back and you can decide to compound from there. So basically you would compound for then an, another 240 days. So let's go to day 240 and see where we will be at. So you get to day 240. Now we have 6,147 drip in the faucet. Now remember, you've already withdrawn your initial seed investment. So this is all house money at this point. At the current drip price today at around $17, this is worth about $100,000 in the faucet. So that's about a 10x. Not only did you recoup your initial 10 grand you put in, but now you have 100 grand in the faucet that you're earning 1% a day off. You're making $1,000 a day. Let's say you let that ride for a year and a half, a year and 20 days, the 20 days that you make up. So now you have 21,000 drip almost at a max faucet. So you're looking at current prices today at $350,000 in the faucet, making you $3,500 a day. Now, worst case scenario at this time, if drip is a dollar, well, now you're making, you're earning 21,000, you're earning off of 21,000. You put in 10,000. You already pulled out 10,000. So now you have 21,000 of house money. That's worst case scenario if drip's a dollar. If drip's 50 cents, well, you have your 10 grand in here and you already pulled out 10 grand. So compounding, guys, is the way to go because it actually minimizes your risk. When you compound, you're earning more over time. Now, because this is a decentralized protocol, 
that's why the compounding works because you don't have to worry about some entity or some owner of this project pulling everybody's funds out. You own your funds and you're going to get that drip no matter what. doesn't matter what the price is. You're always going to earn that amount of drip that you put in. So one drip in the faucet pulls out 3.5 drip total. Okay, 360%. So that's the beauty of the tokenomics on this is you can feel comfortable just compounding and compounding and not have to worry about someone pulling the rug. Yes, the price of drip can determine that as well, but I do think the price of drip is going to stay somewhat stable because of the way they set this up to be better than the original drip. So let's head back to the drip platform and I'll kind of walk you through how to get started with this. Okay, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna need some Pulse. If you don't have Pulse on Pulse Chain, I'll leave a video in the description that shows you how to get Pulse on the Pulse Chain. You're gonna come over here to PulseDrip.io and you're gonna to go to the swap, okay? And you can see I have 9.166 drip already. So I need a little bit more because I wanna start a second faucet. Now keep in mind, once you start a faucet, you can't add any more drip to the faucet, only from compounding. You can't add drip on the side of your faucet. You have to make a new one. I didn't know that going in. Keep that in mind. If you want to have a big amount, put it in to start. Because if you want to put it in later, you're going to have to make another faucet. Okay, so I want to get enough to start a minimum faucet of 10 drip. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to have at least 11 drip to put into the faucet because it takes 10% off. Also, when you purchase drip, you have to keep that in mind because it's gonna take 10%. So I wanna buy 2.2 drip, okay, 2.2 drip. Because that should be enough to get started in a second faucet. So it's gonna cost me 887,000 PLS. Now, if you were just wanting to start a regular faucet, I would come in here and buy 12 drip because at least 12, I would do 12.2 because when you do this initial buy, it's gonna minus the 10%. When you deposit it into the faucet, it's gonna take another 10%. So make sure you can make that minimum threshold of 10 drip in the faucet. Okay, so 2.2, we're gonna press exchange, complete the MetaMask transaction. The great thing about Pulse Chain is the fees are low. You're looking at about one to two cents to make any type of transaction on Pulse Chain. So if you are compounding, for 365 days, the fees are not too bad, guys. Even if it's two cents for a compound, which it's not, it's probably about one cent, looking at about four to seven dollars in gas total throughout the entire year. And I'll show you guys how you can actually recoup some of that and get that back. And that's via the garden. So once that transaction goes through, you should see the updated drip amount. All right, there we go, successfully swapped. So now I have 11.144 drip, perfect. So we'll go back over here to the faucets. Also a cool thing about this P drip is the faucet is technically an NFT. So you could technically sell your active faucets on an NFT market. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the amount of drip in here. We're gonna do max. 11.134, okay? We're using the P drip. The X drip was for the pre-sale people. Minimum is 10. We're gonna press approve. Brings up a transaction to confirm. Now we're gonna hit max. This is letting the wallet use our P drip. We'll press next. Fee super low, press approve. Okay, so now it's approved. So now we still have to open the faucet, okay? So now we're gonna press open. It's gonna cost about four cents in gas. It is a little bit more when you open the faucet versus compounding. Like I said, compounding, it's literally like one to two cents each time. So very, very reasonable. Successfully minted. So see, technically you're minting an NFT. Okay, so that your faucet is technically an NFT. So you, now you own this in your wallet. So you can see 10.021. Max payout is 36. So what's cool is I can press compound all and it'll compound both of these faucets. So I don't have to do it one by one. But keep that in mind. So, you know, if you if you do want to add to your faucet, you can't, okay? If you try adding to this, it doesn't let you, it doesn't work. Okay, you have to make a new faucet. 
and there's only a limited number of faucets that can be created, 5,000 total. So you might just want to come in here, put in a minimum amount of faucet, compound it for a year, and see what happens, guys. Okay, where else can you risk literally $200, which is about what it takes to get in the faucet right now? 200 bucks, you compound for a year, cost you about five bucks in gas, and you have a chance to grow that to $7,000 at the current price. Let's say drip goes up to $50, $70, okay? You're looking at much more. It would be a three to five X, so that 7,000 would then be 21,000. You'll earn 1% off of that, so you'll earn $210 a day, all right? So my strategy with this is I'm gonna be compounding both of these for one year, and then now depending what the price of drip does, because let's dive into the old drip price guys and let's see what we're kind of looking at for the future of pulse drip. So this is the original drip that was on Binance Smart Chain. You can see it started here. I think this chart doesn't go fully back to when it actually started, but this is close enough. July of 2021. You can see it says about 20 bucks there, went up to 40 consolidated back to around seven, eight, and then have the insane run up. So what you can do guys, is you can be compounding this entire time. And if we get this huge run up on pole strip up to like a hundred dollars, $200, you know, take some profit that day instead of compounding because your faucet value will have grown five to potentially 10 X and just take some profits those days from when it's, when it's that high, because you're going to be making a good amount. So I think that's what a lot of people did there. All right, so you can compound, grow it up. If it gets to astronomical levels, start withdrawing those days and make some profit. Okay, then when it starts going back down, then start compounding again, okay? So you have a lot of strategy with this and the potentials are pretty much endless with what you can do with something like this. So do I think it'll last? Because we can see July, 2021 to July, 2022. It pretty much stayed the same, okay? It got to, you know, eight bucks there. If you got in over here at eight bucks in a year, it still is about eight bucks. All right, so that's that's perfect. All we want the price is to stay steady or go up a little bit, okay? We kind of want to avoid the huge pumps. You know, the, yeah, that looks great because your dashboard money is going to be huge and you can make a lot of profit those times. I don't mind it pumping up. But as long as it just stays where it is and you compound for a year, you're going to be sitting pretty, guys, okay? You're going to be sitting pretty. And with Pulse Strip, I do think there's still not that many people in here, not that many people know about this because, number one, not that many people are on Pulse Chain yet. So I do think Pulse Chain is going to explode in 2024. It's going to be the year of Pulse Chain. And all these Pulse Chain projects are going to blow up even more than they are now. And especially pole strip, it's going to be one of the most popular ones. So what I plan on doing, like I said, is compounding this. And what I'm also going to do is with this faucet here, when it gets to that one year mark, I'm going to start taking the profits from this and pumping it into Pulse 3D. Now Pulse 3D is a project that I helped create with a developer friend that I've known in crypto for over five years. And it's going good. I just decided to take some out of here to have a way to feed some pulse back into here. So this is kind of like the thing that I just do on the side, kind of just having a protocol that I can feed my own pulse into and just grow. So that's what I'm gonna do for the people in Pulse 3D and the Pulse 3D community is taking the profits from this faucet after a year and just pumping it directly into here. So depending on what the price is and what the, how big this gets, that could be a lot. That could honestly be a lot, guys. So I owe that to the Pulse 3D community and the dev from Pulse 3D. So that's what I'm going to do. This this faucet's going to be mine here. And who knows? I might decide to compound for the two-year mark. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now, if you want to join my team, I will give you access to that compounding calculator that I showed you. And the way you're going to join a team is you go over here to team. Now, I joined with the first person that showed me this actually in the pre-sale. I stupidly didn't get into the pre-sale, but I always go with the person that shows it to me first. And that person was ENJ Gold. Okay, so I'm on ENJ Gold's team. And what you want to do is if you want to take the buddy 
address from this video, which is mine. You're going to put it in here and you're going to press change and then it'll be your buddy address. So what I recommend you doing is just using my buddy address for a minimum faucet of 10 and then using your own referral link to make a bigger faucet for yourself. So then you can earn some referral commissions off of yourself when you compound and everything. But uh, if you would help me out, that's cool. If not, it doesn't matter. I'm not relying on referrals for this. That's not in the calculations of the compounding calculator. That's based on zero referrals. Referrals are just a bonus, which is great if you guys want to follow along in the journey because I will be giving weekly updates on how the faucet's growing, different strategies, and keep you guys updated. Because I missed out on the original drip of being able to do that and, and, and track and follow my journey because I've always done that in crypto where I get in projects early and I track the journey with videos for my community. This is a great way to do this with Pulse Drip and it's going to be fun because like I said, you're going to get paid out that amount in the faucet no matter what. It just depends on what the price is going to be at that time. So we'll follow along guys. And then also if you want to check out the garden, this is how I recoup. I just use the garden to recoup my gas fees. I put a hundred thousand pulse in here. That's it. All right. Put a little bit of P dye just, just in case, because you know, just in case this thing pumps, I have no idea. Now I'll be honest. I don't know how the tokenomics behind the garden. I don't know how they continue to pay the 1.5% in here. I really don't know, but all I know is whatever you put into the faucet, you cannot take out. You can only, take out the interest that you earn and you can compound. Okay. So keep that in mind. So I put in a hundred thousand pulse in here. It makes me about, you know, 1700 pulse a day. All right. So the gas fees on a compound is like two to 300 pulse. So that's good. And then I just compound this as well. Like I said, I just, you know, put five bucks in here and over the 365 days, this will give me my gas as a kickback from what I paid. You can get into the, the garden as well. I'll leave a link for that down below. But mainly, my main interest is the faucet. Okay, because the faucet is where the real potential with this is. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. Are you following along in the pulse drip journey? Do you want to join the community and compound for yourself along with me? and see what happens in a year and see what kind of income we can make. Because like I said, I don't really know many things in this world where you could put 200 bucks into something and in a year could potentially make $70 or more per day for the next year. So this is kind of just my lottery ticket that I'm putting in here and gonna just continue to grow it and see how it works. See if we can mimic what the original drip token did if not be better because we're on pulse we're paying cheaper gas fees and when pulse chain blows up it's going to bring some volume into these protocols like pulse trip like pulse 3d so like i said 2024 i believe will be the year of pulse chain all right and that's what i'm doing i'm, I'm only in two pulse chain projects that's it that's all i'm doing i did diversify into base chain because that uses regular eth so we'll talk about different base stuff in different videos, but base 3D and then some other protocols I'm in over there on base. But I like it because it gives me passive income and exposure to regular Ethereum. And then I keep my, my exposure over here on Pulse Chain and Pulse and into Pulse Drip. So I like that. I like being diversified. I don't like having all my eggs in one basket. So this is how I'm earning in crypto, guys, and potentially growing a little nest egg. And trying to pick the safest routes and the safest type of protocols with the lowest risk and highest reward. That's what we want to look at. So guys, that's pretty much it. If you want to join my drip team, I would appreciate it. I'll send you the free compounding calculator to track your journey. So guys, that's it. Subscribe for more. Follow along the journey here on Pulse Drip and the rest of the crypto space. I do appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. So until the next time, we will talk again. Take care and take charge. Creative Crypto, out.